Howdy everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. So what you're looking at is the minute by minute charting of uh, Binance coin against Bitcoin uh, that's on uh, Binance. So we'll, we'll come back to this chart uh, at uh, towards the end of this video. Now, I just put up this video uh, over, let's see here. Now if you're on the podcast, uh, I have a video I just posted called Close. Real-time charting with QT5, Python, and Chart Director. So this is it. So I can pretty well do this with anything I want. The reason I chose BNB BTC is quite evident. This is the latest data I've downloaded from my reports that I've been showing for a very long time. Everything's kind of coming together now. And uh, here's the results of those uh, reports. So you can see here... The BNB Ethereum, BNB BTC are both up 23.36%, 21.05% or over the last hour. And then we get the WAN BTC, WAN Ethereum, XMR, ICX, BTS. Things are moving in the world of crypto no matter what you read. Okay, so let me show you the uh, volumes here uh, by... Uh, it's quite striking. Um, where can it? Where is my volume? <laughs> I never get it done. Um, this is why I'm moving towards my my uh, interfaces, my graphical user interfaces, with what I've shown with uh, the Qt designer for Python. So here's the volume. You can clearly see uh, SCBTC um, is still dominating uh, the world of crypto. Uh, it's just bizarre. Don't ask me that. So, let's check out the CFD world. Always remember the U.S. markets are closed today. Today being Wednesday, December 5th at uh, 6.30 my time, local, same as New York. And uh, one thing I will say, U.S. markets are closed because of a former president who has uh, died. And they're just doing their state. Funeral. Okay, let's check out um, FX. So let's check out the hourly. So here, our usual suspects, USD against tr uh, Turkish Lira, Euro against Turkish Lira, um, 3.1, 2.82, uh, New Zealand, and then again, it's the usual same thing, man. As the Asian markets start to come up, but I find this, this is bizarre this time. New Zealand against Swiss franc, Singapore against Swiss franc, and Australian against Swiss franc. So those in that order, okay, let me start from the beginning. U.S. Turkish lira up 3.1, euro against Turkish uh, 2.82, New Zealand against Swiss franc 1.18, and uh, Singapore... Swiss franc 1.03, and Australian against Swiss franc 0.76. Those are hourly moves. Just bizarre. So let's see who we've got on our um, volume here. It's pretty close, uh, but uh, the big one is the Euro uh, Turkish Lira. I don't think it's updated my um, spread cost yet. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, and then in the world of CFD, again, remember the C the markets are closed. So let me see the latest uh, bar hourly profit. Which ones the movers are? Hong Kong 33. Again, that is uh, has been our biggest mover. And then we also have gold against U.S. dollar up 2.01. And the Hong Kong uh, 33 is up 2.92%. If you've been following my advice for the last week, you've been doing all right in the world of Hong Kong. Uh, with a 2.92% move, that is pretty good. Um, let's, let me just check out the volumes here. Um, so here are the volumes for the... Uh, oh, we don't want crypto. We want... Let's see here. We want... Uh, CFD, which I was in. Okay, here's our volume. I gotta change that title, that's confusing. Uh, okay. 
Oddly enough, the NASDAQ 100 still uh, number one. The German Euro, US 30, Hong Kong. Um, that is bizarre where these are open, the US ones, because it's supposed to be closed. But again, I'm not sure. I have to, I have to verify that. But um, yeah, that's who the top three are. Now, we're all done with there. Let's check out what's going on with the BNB against BTC crypto. So again, you can clearly see, and this is uh, 9 p.m., uh, 11 p.m. now. So I'm not sure where the servers are. It must be somewhere in Asia or maybe in Europe. Yeah, it must be in Europe. I'll have to figure that out. Anyways, um, the uh, bars are coming in minute by minute, as you can see. It's pretty well flat on this one. Uh, there's been some pops here, and it's just been flat since 9 p.m. Uh, I'll need to figure out stuff. But if you've seen this other video regarding, let me see here. This video I mentioned earlier, this get close real time charting. Uh, this one was using the fastest moving on uh, Binance, and you can see it just move up quite quickly. Um, and this is quite interesting uh, just to visually see it finally. And, and, and you, you can easily see um, the uh, moves here with the RSI. All right, so that's pretty well it for tonight. We shall report back tomorrow. I am uh, seeing who wants to see if these this free market analysis. I'll be, of course, not doing this for not forever, that's for sure. But uh, I'll be doing this more often, but more with the interfaces that I built here specifically. I'll be able to be able to zoom, zoom in and out of different charts on a minute by minute basis now with this type of uh, capability. I'm planning to do that. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to bother sending out the reports. Um, but what I will do is uh, the system will become better. Uh, we'll, we'll just have better signaling on this type of analysis. And as a result, what will happen is I can have the capability to email people um, on the signals. It could be on um, the actual buy, the entries, or potential buying uh, opportunities like here, even though it didn't last very long. At uh, Let's see what, what kind of move we're talking about here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bars. That's ten minutes. And that moved from approximately, uh, I'm going to say, zero, zero, uh, one, let me just see here. Let's see if I can expand this. No. The only problem is you, you, you can't really, anyway, it doesn't matter. So that move was roughly, I'm going to say, 0 0.00161 all the way up to 0 0.00165. So that's about quite a bit of, uh, when you factor it in percent wise uh, I'm not a mathematician here on that but uh, that's that's a nice move and uh, there are other ones as well so we will have that capability uh, over the over the time um, and I uh, just wanted to let you know about that shall talk to you later bye